Hello everybody and welcome to the video. So today we are going to talk about an uh, application that has been invited that is the government of uh, the government application uh, for internship scheme which has been uh, called by the Ministry of Environment uh, and Cl Environment Forest and Climate Change right so this is a 2023 application that has been invited online uh, so we'll be discussing about what are the eligibility uh, what, what is the purpose of this internship and how can you apply for this internship who all can apply so these are the questions that we'll be addressing in today's video so do watch the video till the end i'm dr vaishali academic specialist at biotechnica biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career come let's explore the topic So this is the page of Biotechnica where uh, the the internship application details have been given. So the link will also be present in the description below. So do check it out. So this is the government MOEF and CC that's Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change Internship, right, uh, uh, of 2023, right. So this particular uh, application uh, will expire in five days. Right, so we'll be seeing the last date. So the last date of applying for this internship is the 18th of January. So do um, you know apply soon? The next is about the purpose. The main purpose of this particular internship, right? So the scheme. Uh, is open for graduate uh, students with graduation, post graduation, as well as research scholars. Right, you can join as an intern. So, as an intern, you will be given exposure to the various departments, divisions, and the units of the ministry. Right, you can uh, learn about what are the ways uh, in which the ministry works. Right, you'll be getting exposure to the functioning of the ministry. Right, so that is the primary objective of this particular uh, internship. So this internship uh, will also give you, uh, it's, it's mostly for mutual, mutually beneficial, right? You can contribute uh, to the, um, you know, to the ministry by working there and uh, the ministry also contributes to you because uh, it gives you an opportunity to know about the government functioning, right? All the regulatory and developmental policy issues, etc. All of this you will be able to learn, right? Next, uh, let's look at the internship itself. What is the eligibility, right? So the first thing that we're going to look at, look at is the eligibility for this particular uh, internship. So if you're pursuing graduate graduation or post graduation or if you are even doing the research work then you are eligible uh, to apply for this particular internship so it's not necessary that you have to be a graduation or you should have finished a post graduation even if you are pursuing uh, any of these you are uh, open to apply so there is no particular uh, stream that has been given so because you will be exposed to the way the ministry works right so uh, in any stream if you belong to any stream of graduation post graduation or if you're doing your research work, you are open to apply, right? Uh, of any recognized university or institution within India or even abroad can apply for this particular internship. This internship will be a maximum for a period of only three months, right? So that is very important to note. So if at all you are a student uh, still pursuing your graduation or post-graduation and if you have the time bandwidth to apply for internship and get it, so it has to be uh, for a maximum of three months only, right? And after which you will get an experience certificate once the, uh, you know, after successful completion of the internship only, right? So that will also be awarded to you. So what is the procedure? That is the next um, thing we are going to address. That is how can you apply for this particular internship, right? First of all, you have to, in, uh, you have to apply it online only, right? And the address link will be uh, given in the notification as well as in the link uh, in the description box below as well. The interns, uh, so you must make sure that you are applying only for one discipline, right? Only one discipline. So there are multiple uh, disciplines that's available. So we'll be talking about that now, 
what are the different disciplines that is available uh, at for this particular internships the different disciplines are botany marine botany zoology chemistry or chemical engineering environmental science or environmental engineering civil engineering geography ecosystem sciences physics geology biochemistry biotechnology fisheries mechanical engineering mining engineering wildlife environmental biology or bio resource bio uh, biology sciences forestry agroforestry livelihood climate change environmental law or public finance management right so these are the different disciplines that you can apply to so if you are aiming at any of these disciplines then make sure to uh, select that particular discipline when you are applying for the internship itself and make sure that you uh, you uh, select only one such discipline right so um, uh, apart from that you should also give a no objection certificate right so because you are studying at one particular uh, institute or university you should get a no objection certificate from that university right so that they are allowing their student to undergo the internship internship program so that is what uh, your no objection certificate must state right apart from that um, there is also so once you have applied uh, for this particular internship there will be a selection process that goes on within the ministry so based on the number of applicants and the number of uh, avail uh, of uh, internship positions that's available you know there'll be uh, different selection procedures that is there so these are the different selection procedures that uh, the ministry can take up right so there are uh, different um you know uh, options like uh, say the attendance record will be taken right uh, you need to have a proper conduct of the uh, interns right and um, you know you need to have you need to submit uh, uh, all your copy of the mark sheet or the degree of your graduation and post graduation right so these are the different um, uh, uh, you know different criteria that's available so you can go through them as well right apart from this the next important thing that we are going to concentrate on is the stipend right what is the stipend that will be given and uh, when will it be given so the stipend that will be paid to the interns will be rupees 10000 right per month right and we saw that it is for a maximum of 3 months only and if at all you leave the internship at any particular time of the month then for the month the the uh, stipend will not be paid right so this is uh, with respect to the stipend and if at all you are taking any leaves and uh, so the leaves are only 3 days per month so if you are exceeding those 3 days then the stipend amount equivalent to those days will be deducted right so that is with respect to stipend next is the training right so the training schedule so there are two different um, training that's available one is summer internship and one more is winter internship right and the selection will be done on the merit basis only right and the selection once the candidates are selected it will be given on the displayed on the website of the ministry so you can go to the ministry's website and keep checking for the announcement of the selected candidates right so that is uh, with respect to this particular internship i have covered almost everything that is related that is the eligibility and uh, the procedure to apply and the selection the stipend the purpose of this internship so all of this we have dis uh, discussed we have also seen the discipline the various disciplines uh, that is available and the most important point to remember is the last date of application right which is the 18th of january so please uh, make a note of this and then if at all you are interested in this particular internship then go ahead and apply for it from the uh, link that's uh, present below thank you so much and see you all until next video